It's an honor to be here today as an elected uh, official and qualified, I guess, to uh, perform this ceremony. And uh, on a personal note, I will let you know that I've come to know Scott over the last few years quite well. We've spoken quite a few times, and uh, I've really been impressed by his uh, ability to speak, but also to use the appendages on the side of his head to listen <laughs> to what people have to say. Um, he's a good listener, believe me, and I've had an opportunity to speak to, with him on uh, numerous occasions, including yesterday. Uh, at a function at uh, Finlandia University. He's, he's a very dedicated man. I'll, uh, I, I can attest to that. And so it's a real honor for me to uh, administer this oath of office for Scott. And this is the State of Michigan Oath of Office. And I will ask Scott to uh, say his name. Scott Tayanda. Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States. Yes, I will. And the Constitution of the State of Michigan. Yes, I will. And that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of representative in the state legislature. Yes, I will. For the term beginning January 1st, 2013, according to the best of your ability. Yes, I will. Scott, yep. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you so very much for coming today, and I want to extend a, such a thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that we all did together to get elected to this office. I have such a passion for what I want to embark on. There's so much that we need to do, and I want to be able to thank you again so very much for everything that everybody did. I mean, we have so many great things to do, and I want to be a part of that with you. And I think that we have seven and a quarter counties. We have one of the most diverse areas in the state of Michigan. We are so very blessed to be able to live here and to conduct business here and to be able to grow our families here. So I'm very <laughs> proud to say that we are going to look towards the future to make this the best place to live and work in Michigan. We are going to do it. And I ask you this, we need to do it together. We got a lot of experts in this room and a lot of experts in the seven counties, and we're going to do it together. I will definitely be looking for your expertise in different areas, because it's a very vast job this state representative has to deal with. I was so very proud to say that I represented 5,200 people in a local that I represented in 83 counties, and I did that very well. I'm looking forward to representing 80,000 people in the seven counties. And I'm going to need your help and your support and your expertise. And I want to be very accessible to everyone. And every piece of all that literature that was sent out by myself and my opponent had my cell phone number on it. So that is a way to definitely be able to be in contact with me. I will be in contact with all our local <coughs> officials. And I'm going to be very much in every part of this district. It's just so unique that we have an area from Copper Harbor to Crystal Falls, from Ishpermine Township all the way to Ironwood. It is just such a unique place. We have two time zones. We have two First Nations. We have two Indian nations in our district. We are so vastly diverse up here. Our people are wonderful. Our people are the ab that were able to do so much in so many years of being in this area. It's incredible what we have. We have a past that's incredible, and we have a future that's unstoppable. There's so many good things that we can do when we're sitting in a complex right here, and that's 
was my focus throughout the campaign. Education was our number one priority to make sure that we had a great system to grow the children in our area. K through 12, higher education is something that we need to focus on and if we're serious about it, it has to be funded. And that's where I truly believe in my passion is, is that we have to make sure that when we commit to something, we stand behind it. 